Did you know? What? A key element in education improvement is data-driven decision making. Data-driven decision making occurs when educators, both administrators and teachers alike, use student data to influence many aspects of education. So, how are you collaborating with your PLC? Are you addressing student academic needs based on data? Let's hear some insights from Performance Matters superstars at Bret Hart about how it impacted their instruction. My name is Marla Conte. I am the principal at Bret Hart Elementary School. So for us here at Bret Hart, a big focus has been the professional learning communities. And professional learning communities are really guided by student success. How are scholars performing? What does the data show? So since we've focused on heavily collaboration and professional learning communities, teachers have learned to set their ego aside and not feel bad if the data looks a little dismal to start because it's a starting point, right? We look at the data, we see what performance matters shows and what's nice is it's all color coded for them, ready to go. They check it out and see like, okay, here's our entry point um, during those collaboration meetings. What are the next steps? What can we try? Hi, I'm Maria Gomez and I teach fourth grade at Bret Hart Elementary School. I use performance matters to access the data on my students' performance for their, on their assessments. My motivation for integrating Performance Matters was so that I would learn the program and be able to obtain the data on my students' performance and then be able to share it with them uh, and their parents as well and in the collaboration PLCs with my team members. Hi, my name is Valerie Peters and I'm a fourth grade teacher here at Bret Hart Elementary. Well, how I use Performance Matters um, for my class is really to analyze a lot of data. Uh, you can let you can find out all kinds of things by standard. You can find out by test, and I use those for, those reports to not only let the students know, but I let the parents know. For me, it's like a self-reflection. Ooh, what did my students do well at? And what do I need to reteach, or what do I need to get better at? So not only helping the students, but also helping myself to know what I have to improve better on. Um, I also really like to know what my students are doing down to the standard so that I can see what do I have to go back and reteach and also let the students know, hey, you did really well on this, you know, good job, and ooh, this is what, this is an opportunity for growth. The purpose of that tool is precisely that. It's a tool to analyze data. What's most important is what we do after. It's kind of like if you have a scale and you weigh yourself, um, you have the numbers, you have the data, but what matters is what you do after that the feedback that I give to them from the Performance Matters scores that they get. It's very colorful and easy for me to read. I'm a virtual person, so it makes it a lot easier for me and it really lets them see where their weaknesses is and where their uh, strengths are and what area they would need to improve. And we use it to discuss his trends, uh, strategies, find exemplars, and answer the four PLC questions that we talk about in our uh, collaboration time. Considering that we're fourth grade team, we use it a lot because fourth grade has that district writing assessment. And so once the writing assessment is over and it gets scored, the scores are there. And it's by student, their overall score, by each individual section on the rubric. And it's really easy to see how they did. Um, you can actually go on in and download their actual writing that they've typed in the computer. We use those papers for exemplars so that we can show our class, hey, look, at there's a fourth grade student here at Bret Hart who got a four. Let's see what they did. Let's see how you can get better. So we use that a lot and we use it for trends. And then once we find trends that our whole um, grade level might have been a little low on, we um, come up with lessons to develop so that we can maybe strengthen that, improve ourselves as teachers, and again, improve our students. It can be very uncomfortable for people to look at data, especially if it's a window into what you've done, right? What you've taught, all of those actions. Hey, this is what I did, here, here are the numbers. Mm -hmm. That can be very challenging and it can be a difficult conversation to reach that point. So I would encourage teams, administrators to start taking those steps so that we can share data openly because that's when 
that's when the magic happens. That's when learning is possible. Once we're open and honest about the results. I'm a numbers person, so I really like to know the numbers. I'm a little bit competitive, so I like to compare my class versus the school, versus especially versus the district. It's always fun, I shouldn't say this, but it's always fun when you can do better than the district. It's like, okay, I'm doing something really good. Honestly, I think I only took one class that was virtual, and it was the basic class. Like Mrs. Gomez, I did the, just the basic. Um, the performance matters, the basic, it was a one hour virtual. And so a lot of that I have learned has just been playing around with it. I'm not a very techie person, but if I can do this, anybody else can do this and use performance matters. 